Here we are at Muskegon Market and Mercantile, where my booth is. Goes from here all the way down to that corner. Here are the store hours. See ya, bye. There's an aisle that goes way back there, and one that goes way back here, and over on the far wall there's an aisle that goes all the way to the back as well. This right here, second booth inside the door, is my booth and my friend Dennis's. Beautiful pictures. Here's mine. I'm going to do a little walkthrough with you. I just reset for Christmas. So we have this fun galvanized shovel. Looks great on your porch or by the fireplace. These are my ever popular floaties for all different seasons and occasions. Those are wood burnt and then painted. They can hang on little racks like this or a horizontal rack like that. Those are $14 a piece. This is the Allegheny train that I wood burned last year. All right, we've got a vintage paper Christmas ball here. So I've got a bunch of my dreamscapes in here today. I'm gonna go right for those because everybody wants to see them. Here is this beautiful barn with a metal horse inside, all lit up. And we've got this adorable teal with a bicycle. And on the other side, We've got a little deer. This one here is elegant with jewels, even on the top. And this has got a cute little owl inside here. I've got this window mirror, window box, etc. There are a couple wreaths there and back there for sale. We have a Santa. Here are some snow babies ice skating. This one looks like she might be about to fall and her little sister's gonna catch her. And a lantern. This is really fun, look down inside there. You see the snowman and the people and that vintage maple syrup log cabin all lit up. This is one of my favorites. I just love colors. I don't know, I love everything. So, super cute. Decorated all the way around. With a fun topper, crystal base, and lit. Here is a beautiful ice skate for our ice skating fans. And there's a little deer hiding back here. These are tiny birdhouses. See, this is small. There's my hand. Little birdhouses facing all different directions with a pretty green topper. We have a lovely porcelain, glossy porcelain lit angel here. And a fun little tray. This is definitely one of my favorites. I love the brass. It is really hard for me to find brass trays. So I looked for quite a while and found this one. So we've got a glass vase, a brass, antique brass tray. The design goes throughout. We have a heavy brass dough in there with some greenery and gold. A minty color tree. And look at how cool is this. This is a brass pear for the topper. Just stunning. This one too. We've got a little child holding presents. Very vintage feel. I added a pearl drop necklace to this with rhinestones and a sterling silver top. Very fun for our nautical friends or sandcastle lovers. So there is a beautiful shiny sandcastle in there. I used some broken glass, mercury glass, for a river 
and put seashells and oyster shells all around here, inside and outside. Every variety you could think of. Here we have a little brass birdhouse with a beautiful porcelain vintage angel. Our butterfly lovers are gonna like this one. Oh, we got a glare on it. Can I get away from the glare? There is a bird hanging inside there. And we've got butterflies and hot pink trees and a little house. Let's see, I've got to turn it here. There we can see the house. There's the house. And there you can see the bird better. But isn't that cute? Little pink trees. This is an ombre tree. Look at that. It goes from like a fuchsia to a pale pink. Oh, and a butterfly on top. And one on the back. So we've got butterflies inside and out, all lit up and sparkly. Okay, what do we have here? This is a non-lit, really heavy brass tray with some Christmas trees. Here's a mini, so this is probably nine inches tall or so, nine or ten inches, with a little snow couple here, lights in there. All colored trees. Oh, look at there's a deer. Lots and lots of tiny miniature work on this. This is a beautiful brass jewelry box full of crystal blown glass and brass. Here I have a table centerpiece with three LED candles that flicker. All right, I love blown glass too. See this little blown glass church in here? Isn't that pretty? And that Christmas tree right there, look at how big it is. It's about twice as tall as my fingernail. It's so tiny with a silver base. And look at these beautiful blue jewels on top. Just love that. Fun, fun one here. This is called Mr. and Mrs. Santa in Love. And look at the little tiny diorama in there. It's little, like really small. <laughs> and a bell base. Very fun. Here we've got a cute little country church on a galvanized plate. And what do we have behind here? Look at that. We've got an itty bitty snowman. And a deer. Okay, we don't have any lighted anything down here on the shelf. We've got some centerpieces, candlesticks, this beautiful wooden bowl, some more centerpieces, a basket arrangement, and a table centerpiece down here. We've got this one here, which actually already had a light in it. So I just took it apart, cleaned it up, and we put a snowman and some icy looking snow in there with trees. So, he goes on and off and bright and dim. That'd be a great nightlife for kids room. Here we have another lantern with Santa in there. Little Santa ornament with some trees. Oh, who's back there? I see something else. Oh, that's right. We've got a bear, can you see him? It's a bear hauling a tree. He's in there. And then this is just a really pretty red, silver, and white lantern. It's got lights inside. Most of the bigger pieces with lights in them um, actually have a timer on those lights too. So they'll come on at the same time every day. I've got this one here. I love this rustic look. Look at this fun deer. He looks like he's made of paper mache or something. And I've got him on a wood base. All lit up. Hi. Hi guys. Oh, it smells as good as it looks. <laughs> it does smell good in here. And here we have a vintage, uh, looks like a sleigh ride. Isn't that a beautiful picture? With this tiny, thin brass frame. I just love it. And a little, a little lamp there, oil lamp. There's some of my wood burnings. Wood burning, wood burning, wood burning. 
That lamp doesn't have anything in it. Oh, here's another oil lamp. Okay, so these are my micro dreamscapes. Look at this, a really little, again, little, as tall as my finger. That's a vintage snowman ornament. This is hard to see, I put a wavy glass on this. It's just kind of fun. There's deer running all around in here and red and green pine trees. So it's just kind of fun to twirl and look at. Love this adorable one. Little tiny wooden nativity, little tiny trees, again, about as tall as two of my fingernails. And some little, little angels. Isn't that cute? And a deer. Cute, cute. I love this deer, the white deer. This is really little. Let's see how, see the size of this? On the wood slice. Just a couple trees. Just really handsome. Got another Mr. and Mrs. Santa. These are little porcelain figurines made in Japan. They are vintage. I love the birch log here. I've got a little iridescent star on top. And then this is my tiniest one. Can you see this nativity in here? <laughs> I don't know if you get a feel. Okay, here's a feel for how small this is. The topper is a knob for a dresser. Okay, that nativity is smaller than a dresser knob. It is so tiny. It's just the cutest. I, I was so excited when I found that. I'm just like, oh. It's just really fun looking at estate sales and antique stores and stuff year round for all these little parts and pieces. I'm really having a good time with this. Uh, in here we've got a chickadee. And I think I forgot to turn the light on for you, but there's lights in here too. Chickadee on a birch log. And this is a different one. It's like an open face lantern. And I did put some grapevine around the top with wreaths. I have a lot of vintage Christmas bulbs for sale there and over here. And now I'm going to show you the best, the best dreamscape I brought here. I left about 15 large ones home. This is the biggest one I brought here. Maybe I'll just be quiet and let you enjoy it. <laughs> we got a couple bucks getting into it there, don't we? A great big the center of town giant Christmas tree in the middle with a beautiful gold star on the top. And it is on the Lazy Susan. Isn't that fun? Those lights, now that's, I only had two with colored lights. The other one sold. This is the only one with colored lights I have left. left. This is the only one with flashing lights I have. So it is extra special in several different ways. Again, those lights have a timer on them, so they'll come on at the same time every day. Let's see. Okay, I'll just quick go through the rest of my booth. Again, ornaments here and over here. Two buckets full of them. I've got some little square arrangements, a mirrored arrangement, tiny, tiny, tiny cookie cutters. They're super cute. See, it's really small. Some of my lighthouses and other wood burnings. Some of my wall racks that hang lanterns and what have you, candles. I do have another wreath here. Uh, some of my bottle racks are ready to go. Lamps, there's a butterfly and bee house that I wood burned. Got a vintage, um, what was this called? A courting candle. You put a taper candle in here and then you turn, turn this knob and it turns the candle up. It's very interesting. This is a vintage clock and it really works. Yep. Boy, it's, it's a couple minutes off from when I set it two weeks ago, but that's not bad. Another piece of art that I've done. That one's marked down. Love these little metal envelopes and I did arrangements in those. There's a beautiful wood burn message that I made for someone you love. Got a couple other arrangements up top here. Let's see, and, oh, another bottle rack down here with poinsettias and holly leaves. And I got a third one, oh, right here. This one's just kind of fun, funky colors. 
It's like uh, caramel, topaz, lime. Uh, so that's just, it's just a fun color combination with just some, some sticks that kind of give it some height. So, gosh, uh, you know, there's a lot to see. I've got some birds over here. I've got a beautiful cardinal in the winter. Um, this is a key rack for when you come home. There's a couple shelves for phones or you could put, you know, wallet sunglasses. That's a great place for sunglasses. And then you can put a bunch of keys on there. And the birdhouse is for sale too. So, oh gosh, I went over this several times. I, can you see this? This is, this is hanging in here, this plant. So you can pick a plant or whatever you want to hang in there. I have wood burned all inside here, with branches and leaves. And this just kind of sits on the wall like this. So you've got a shelf, you've got a hanging shelf here, and then you've also got art inside. Isn't that unique? Just kind of was dreaming one day and did that. So <laughs> one of those things. I have some beautiful doilies I found at, like I said, all these antique stores and everything I go to. So um, they're all here, just a dollar or two a piece. This is an old sewing drawer. Oops, where's the pretty end? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So I put some chartreuse, uh, wicker balls, and white poinsettias in that. Also have a really cool metal wheel. Those are good for all year round decorating. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it good. Thanks for watching you guys. And, oh, and the best, wait. It's a sun catcher that says Noel. Isn't that pretty? And with that, we'll say goodbye and good night.